Welcome back to Richtech. Today we've got a 45 watt MagSafe 2 charger which uh, we'd like to repair and the damage is right here. This connector insulation rubber you can see is destroyed. If you go back a bit you can also see there is a bend at this point in the rubber which has also been broken so this is not good now the repair here may involve us cutting off this cable at this point putting a new rubber insulation here and uh, connecting this cable once again but uh, we don't want to go into that because this is difficult the other thing we can do is to slide a new rubber insulation from this other end all the way to here that's simple because we'll need to open this charger body and uh, remove this uh, rubber junction here and then slide the replacement insulation here that adds strength to this portion we need this here so i'll go with the second option get a new rubber insulation like this and uh, bring it in through here stay tuned now here is the replacement rubber insulation which we'll use it's ready to be slid over the wire i got it from another cable which i had which didn't need it now i'll go ahead and open this charger to access this end before we go too far in with this uh, repair i'd like to confirm if this charger is working and to get the connector so i'll plug in our power source there is the pop we need to hear if this is working then here is our connector plug it to a macbook and it is working so this is okay for repair always do that so that you do not waste time repairing something which doesn't work at the end with the charger open cut off the cable the wires from behind the junction then we'll remove this junction and use it again if you want to know how to prepare this junction so that uh, you can use them again i'll show you that uh, in another video otherwise you can watch my previous videos about repairing the rubber junction i'll also show you how to easily make this reusable after doing that we cut off this portion make it a clean cut now we want to remove this and that these two they've got to come back out all the way to this end i'll not bore you with this but uh, the idea is to slide this over the rubber insulation out this one we can cut it off we don't need we will not be reusing it again so just make sure you have a neat cut at the end here which you can accomplish using a razor but don't cut too deep you will cut the inner insulation which you do not want to so this one slightly cut off the upper rubber insulation which you want to replace once you make that notch there you can now pull this out uh, you can go ahead and cut it all through there it is cut neatly out Pull off, tear it off. You don't need it anymore. Be careful not to destroy this connector. But uh, this wire is broken somewhere here, and we can't have a junction here. It will look untidy. So we'll cut off this rubber at a point where we think it is neat, not so far away, and remove it. See, there is some decay or some green green color there on top of the cable of the wires you can always delete that later then pull this wire holder the cable holder on top of this other portion which is good make sure this is good if there is any sign that this is not so good move back cut again This uh, rubber insulation is so weak, you can feel that it's so weak up to about this point. So I'll cut it all the way back here. Good. 
the cable is neat now we can slide this all the way up here as you can see this is neat we'll cut it also somewhere here so as to hide our junction under this rubber insulation we'll cut this off somewhere here now we remove the cable holder we'll return it back onto the cable once we've repaired this part of the cable now we'll pull this part of the rubber all the way to the end there and secure it with a super glue and it should stick and uh, to pull this cable all the way to the end you put some water onto a piece of cloth and then pull it slowly all the way to the end now pull this cable all the way to this end so this end requires no super glue to be added so that it can be fastened there and it cannot come back now insert the rubber insulation through the other end of the cable now we apply glue to the cable and uh, pull the rubber insulation all the way to the end Do not forget to return this cable holder into the cable and now we will slide this uh, junction through the other end also so as to complete this repair. Prepare the end of the cable for soldering by cutting off at least one centimeter of the outer rubber insulation and exposing the inner wires. Once this junction is uh, secured and you've fastened this uh, rubber insulation with glue, now that's uh, permanent, it's as good as new. Then don't forget to slide this cable holder first of all after that. And then after sliding in that, slide in this other junction. Otherwise, we are going to solder the ends of this cable to the ends of these wires protruding from the charger body. If you apply solder before, it becomes easy to solder these two ends together. So that's the positive cable. The V out cable soldered. You can insulate that with tape, then solder the second one. The first one soldered, second one soldered and insulated. Now we'll secure this junction right here with super glue put some super glue on the wires which are exposed to enable them to be insulated well but you shouldn't worry much about that because this junction will come over this area so once it's stuck there it's not coming back out you can add some glue but uh, that should be okay it's not coming out next we put all this back in there then we apply glue all the way around on the raised part of the casing don't apply it on this uh, side which has no raised portion apply it on this raised portion glue is applied it becomes a race against time let's put the clips back with the inner and the outer clips then squeeze the charger shut you can hold this in a vise so that it's 
rise firmly with no big space here. Here is our completed charger, dirty but uh, perfect. The junction here is now okay. We took it from this to this. can never tell if we open this up and uh, that's how you repair your cable if it has a problem at the connector once again I'd like to hear from you if you have any comment kindly post them and uh, like the video share it with others and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so thanks again for your time I really do appreciate bye